Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 8.1, 8.2, uh, number 14, right? So there are uh, 40 uh, digital watches, including seven watches that are defective. And uh, if the, uh, the shipment will be rejected if uh, one or more defective ones are found in 10 watches. All right, so uh, let's try to find the uh, probability of uh, shipment will be rejected. That means that it's a probability of uh, finding one or more defective watches in 10 watches. All right, so let's go to a paper. All right, so uh, here's seven, seven, uh, 40 watches, seven were defective, which means that the 33 are non-defective. All right, so let's try to say E is an event uh, to find one or more defective watches in 10 watches. All right, then uh, since uh, this, looking at this event, uh, there are many cases because it could be one defective watches, watch, two defective watches, three defective watches, or all uh, all se I mean seven defective watches. So instead of looking at that, uh, we're going to look at its complement. Complement is the, is the event to find no defective watches. Then if you want to find the probability of the original event, all you have to do is subtract the uh, uh, probability of the complement of the event from one. All right, so we, we're going to compute that. All right, so uh, probability of E is equal to 1 minus probability of E complement, which means that the 1 minus, all right, complement of the, this event, all right? So how many, so we have to count the total number of ways to choose 10 watches out of 40 watches. So that's going to be a combination 40 comma 10, right? So that's pretty easy, All right? Then, so that this event is finding no defective watches, which means that the, we have to uh, choose all 10 from 33 non-defective watches. So this is gonna be a combination, right? There are only 33 non-defective ones, and we have to choose all 10 of them from there, All right? So let's compute that. All right, so bring out the calculator. All right, so uh, clear this. All right, so we have to do one minus, one minus, all right, maybe I should put uh, parenthesis. All right, so it's gonna be a 33, and the math probability number three gives you a combination, 10, all right? And then you have to divide it by uh, 40, and a math probability and a number of combination, uh, 10. And to put parentheses there, All right? So that's that, All right? It came out to be 0.890804. So uh, let's see, let me check the precision they want. Uh, they wanted the uh, round to two decimal places. Okay, so go back to the paper. All right, so this is going to be, uh, so this is about 0 0.89, right? Then it's zero, so it's out round, round it down. All right, so let's go back and let's see if he, that takes my answer, All right? So that's going to be 0 0.89. All right, let's check. Check my answer, All right? I was right. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope that, that this was clear.